Hey, this is chapter 13, Fair Game Review, journal page 291 and 292. Number one, we're supposed to evaluate the expression when x is 1 half and y equals negative 5. So negative 2xy, and we'll put 1 half in for x and negative 5 in for y. We can multiply these in any order. Negative 2 times negative 5 is a positive 10. And half of positive 10 equals 5. Number 2. 4x squared minus 3y. 4 1 half squared minus 3 times negative 5. We'll square this first. 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth. So now we have 4 times 1 fourth minus 3 times negative 5. 4 times 1 fourth is just 1 minus 3 times negative 5 would be positive 15. 1 plus 15 is 16. Number three, 10y over 12x plus four is the same as 10 times negative five over 12 times one half plus four. Well, simplifying the top, we get negative 50 and simplifying the bottom, we do this multiplication first. 12 times negative a half is 6, plus 4 is 10. And negative 50 over 10 is the same as negative 5. Number 4, 11x minus 8 x minus y, 11 times 1 half minus 8 times 1 half minus a negative 5. Parentheses first, um, 1 half minus a negative 5 is the same as 1 half plus 5, which is 5 and a half. So now I have 11 times a half minus 8 times five and a half. Well, 11 times a half is 5.5, 5, or five and a half. And eight times five and a half would be 44, so minus 44. Different signs here, so we'll subtract 5.5 5 from 44, and we get 44. 39, 38.5. Which, of course, would have to be a negative 3, I mean 38.5, because the negative had the larger absolute value when we put these together. Whoa, almost let that one slip. Excellent. Our numbers 5, 6, 7, and 8. A is negative 9, and B is 4. So we have, for number 5 here, we have 3 times negative 9 times negative 4. Well, negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36, and 3 times 36 is 108. Number six, a squared minus two b plus 12. a squared will be negative nine squared, negative nine, put it in parentheses because all of a is squared and negative nine is what a is, so negative nine squared minus two times negative four plus 12. Oh, we'll do parentheses first. Negative 4 and 12 is 8. So now I have negative 2 times 8. 
and I can do this too. Negative 9 times negative 9 is 81. Well, 2 times 8 is 16, so now I have 81 minus 16, which is 71, 70, 65. number seven. Four B squared over three B minus seven is four and B was negative four. So negative four squared over three times negative four minus seven. Well, negative four squared is positive 16. And 16 times 4 is 64. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And negative 12 minus 7 is negative 19. And the only thing we can really do to that is not have the negative in the denominator. We move it up to the numerator. Mathematically, we could just multiply top and bottom by negative 1. But we could actually... It just looks like we just move it to the top here. So negative 64 over 19. For number 8. 7b squared plus 5ab minus 6. 7 negative 4 squared plus 5 and then that's negative 9 times negative 4 minus 6. So in parentheses first, negative 9 times negative 4 is positive 36. So now I have 7 negative 4 squared plus 5 times 36 minus 6. 36 minus 6 is 30. So now I have 5 times 30 over here. 4 squared, I mean negative 4 squared is 16. So I have 7 times 16 over here. 5 times 30 is 150. 7 times 16 would be 70 and 42, 112, 112 plus 150 is 262. The last problem on this side says you go to the movies with five friends. You and one of your friends each buy a ticket and a bag of popcorn. The rest of your friends just buy a ticket. The expression 4x plus 2x plus y represents the situation. Here are your four friends. X is the ticket. Here are you and the friend that bought the popcorn because you bought ticket plus popcorn and there were two of you. Evaluate the expression when the tickets cost $7.25 and the bag of popcorn costs $3.25. So 4x plus 2x plus y. The $7.25 is the ticket. So we have 4 times $7.25 plus 2 plus 2 times 725 plus the 325 for the popcorn. Uh, 4 times 725 would be 29. And adding these together first, you get $10.50. So 2 times $10.50 is 21. And 29 plus 21 is 50. Evaluate the expression. $50 is what you have to pay for all of you. On the other side, write the ordered pair that corresponds to point D. Well, point D is right here, right on the x-axis. So it's negative 5, 0. Negative 5, 0. Remember, you have to put them in parentheses, separated by a comma. Write the ordered pair that corresponds to point H, right down here. So that is 3, negative 5. 3, 
negative 5. Which point is located at negative 2, 4, F? Which point is located at 0, 3, G? Which points are located in quadrant 4? Well, here's quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4. B and H are both in quadrant 4. Which points are located in quadrant 3? That would be back here. D is not in quadrant 3. It's right on the x-axis. It's not in any quadrant. But E and C are both found in quadrant 3. Plot the point, 3, negative 1, 1, 2, 3, negative 1, right there. 0, 2, so 0, 2 would be right up here on the y-axis. Negative 5, negative 4, negative 5, negative 4 goes right down here. Negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0 stays right there. And negative 2, 3 would be negative 2, 3. No, it wouldn't. Sorry, that last one is negative 2, 3. That's better. And if we wanted to label these, which is usually a good idea, 3, negative 1 is right here. That would be number 16. 0, 2 would have been right here. That's number 17. Negative 5, negative 4. Negative 5, negative 4. That's 18. Negative 1, 0, right here, 19. And negative 2, 3 is 20. And here's that stray spot. I accidentally put there. Very good. Excellent. Uh -oh.